It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do another three month look ahead for everybody. Um, so, three months from the date that you watch it. Okay, so this is three months from now. We're just going to see what comes up. So, Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to start right here. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Three months ahead. What do we have for Sagittarius three months from now? One card, please. One card. Ooh, healer of the ages. Now this is a godly energy, right? Does equal a six, so it's a journey to balance and harmony. This is receiving help, I think help from above. Heart healing by the looks of things. Maybe you're becoming a healer or you're healing from something. Um, you know, this what I just heard in my head was an old soul, and I often do think that Sagittarius is much of an old soul. Um, but this is a direct connection with God, so you probably have a direct connection with a higher power right now. Um, believe, listen to your gut. I, this is kind of like a Hierophant card to me. Um, so this is a, a channeler. Um, Access, access to God. Uh, I feel like you are being divinely guided during this time. Um, maybe you're you're seeking help, or somebody is giving you some good sound advice. But either way, this is kind of like a spiritual awakening and and conversing with a higher power during this time. So, in three months from now, you are either helping somebody to heal your healing or somebody is helping to heal you you have direct access to god okay that's that's what i feel like this is that is three months from now now we're going to go ahead and get a couple of these for you what do we have for sagittarius oops that's a too many and i just put those in there today or yesterday so we want to see what comes out oh, there's such a mess couple more cards. I can't pick from a bag. It just bothers me. One card, please. Thank you. So what do we have for Sagittarius? Money path. A path with, with money is waiting for you to find that. Waiting for you to find it. Now, I know you guys have had this a lot. Maybe you haven't found it yet. Divine timing is real. And that is a divine connection. You have to believe. You think about the Hierophants believing, asking, and having faith. If you have faith that you're going to get this, and if you believe that you're going to get this, then you will. But perhaps you have to believe. A lot of people don't believe. The minute you say, oh, I'm not going to get it, well, you can bet your little butt that you're not. Hand. In need of help. Interesting assistance and guidance and I think that the higher power knows that you need this help but you have to ask and believe and have faith use that access that you have use it and believe in it and have faith in it like I said if you don't believe well they hear that too you don't believe you have to believe Sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. So you have to come up with the idea. God or the higher power, whichever you, you believe in, will help you. If you ask and have faith. And I know I'm repeating myself because obviously I have to. This is a fresh start that is coming to you if you are positive so let's see what we got for Sagittarius in need of some help obviously the higher power knows that you need some help but they're not just going to hand it to you especially if you don't believe I think we're going to do it like this this time. Ooh. What do we have? 
oh, these cards are just falling out. Perhaps you're having some falling outs with people. King of Cups. Ooh, lovers. Six of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Ooh, you got some good news coming. Star reversed. And Three of Cups reversed. So you are going to be receiving a message, okay, from from a message that makes you feel conflicted or news that you don't want to hear, okay? Just so you know, I mean, the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. So you may be receiving, obviously, you're going to be receiving a message from somebody or an opportunity from somebody, or you're going to be creating your new venture, right? You're coming up with this new idea. You got this new vision. You got to start from scratch, Right here. You got to start from zero. This is starting that new venture from scratch without having all the expertise. You know, doing something you might not have ever done before, but needing to follow through. So you are going to probably starting a new project, probably be starting a new project that you have never done before. It may seem a little scary. You may be a little less than optimistic about it. I'm here to tell you that you should be very optimistic. Think positive. Think positive. I feel like in three months from now, you are probably, you may be parting ways from people that don't support you. Okay. That three of cups up there, up there in the outcome. Okay. That's parting ways. That's, uh, with friends or family. No, the party is over. Okay. If you've been partying too much, uh-uh. When you start a new venture or you start a new job or you start a new business or you start a new project, the partying ends. So this, and you know, I'll get somebody that comments below, I don't party. Well, then that part's not for you. And partying can just be laziness, can be overeating. It's just overdoing it. Okay. So that is, um, the party is over. Okay, so work, 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 work. And three months from now, you're going to be putting an effort into a new, on a new path that you haven't gone down before. Okay, you're going to be doing something new. That's what I'm trying to say. So I think right now, right, or where you've been, it's been an emotional roller coaster. You've probably had a hard time communicating with others or dealing with people or wanting to even communicate. You probably felt withdrawn. You felt um, like closed off. Maybe you felt like you couldn't trust anybody. Um, just uh, angry, maybe even angry with the world. Just, just totally closed off emotionally unable to express your feelings and when you were able to express your feelings you may have expo expressed them very emotionally you know with an angry outburst or an emotional outburst but I feel like now you are in the process of of leaving something in the past behind and, and focusing on your future so right now as you're watching this you're probably going through that thought process of what does my future look like what do I want my future to be that's what I see it's like you're so you're at that crossroads and you know you need to change so you're in the process of 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 thinking of thinking about what your future is right now there's a lack there's there's going back and forth in regards to your value you may be struggling with your own value, your own self-worth, um, and, and um, the pain you've been through. I think that you've been through an extremely um, extreme amount of pain, and it's probably been prolonged, and you're just ready for it to be over, right? You're like, you may be dealing with a bully, somebody that's been abusing you mentally, verbally, physically, whatever. They just didn't respect you. They didn't care about you. They were cold as ice, you know? And they probably turned you cold. They probably demeaned you in some way and made you feel less than worthy. Your challenge is to know your worth and pick yourself up and get through this situation that you have been through with this individual that didn't respect you or treated you like crap. I think that there is definitely an individual here that was a bully and mean and cold and, and brought your passion and your creativity down. This, it feels like this person abused your generosity. They didn't see your value. They didn't um, take care of you like they said they were going to take care of you. They didn't nurture you or something like that. Whoever you were dealing with was selfish. Very, very, very selfish. And I think that 
getting over that isn't easy. And I think that you're in the process of standing up for yourself and going in another direction and not dealing with this person. I think you're going to be parting ways with this person that took advantage of you and didn't see your value. So in, in the next three months, I feel like in the future, you're going to have this new connection unexpectedly that is presented to you. There is definitely somebody from the other side that is guiding you, that is helping you, that is going to lead you in the right direction. This is somebody that has probably passed away. That's my guess. And they're from above. And if it's not somebody that's passed away, it's God or a higher power or a spirit guide or something like that. They are bringing you um, together with something that you um, haven't seen yet. Put it that way. This isn't. This is a. This is a union. They're bringing you together to work with somebody, whether it's a whether it's a work or it's a relationship. They're bringing you together with somebody that is a perfect match. It's going to it's going to help you to prosper, okay? It's going to make you very happy. This is very unexpected. It's not who you think it is. You don't know this person yet, okay? You don't know this avenue that is going to be presented to you. It's going to be very um all of a sudden uh unreal or surreal, surreal, that kind of situation. It's, it's a um, connection. They're going to bring you together with some sort of option that you totally didn't see coming. Okay. This is a help from above, put it that way. Um, whoever you are going to be connected with, it connecting with, is this could be a new contract if it's a work contract it, whoever anyway whatever this they're bringing you is is going to be a deep connection where you completely fall in love with it it's going to be like oh my god this is what i've been waiting for my whole life thank you god thank you god it's like you may be saying you may actually say those words you know thank you god um, it's, it is. So anyway, but you're going to have to commit to it. Okay. You're going to have to commit to it. This will be a, a new commitment being presented to you, whether it's a work commitment or it's a love commitment. This is going to be a very unexpected opportunity and you're going to need to make a choice. Okay. Do you definitely, these two are marrying each other. Okay. These are both choices. So you are going to have to make a choice. Do you want to go down this avenue that you have never been down. You've never been down this avenue. And that's one of the, I know that this isn't something that you can think that it's somebody from your past. And in, in, in an instant, it could be somebody from your past that you haven't dealt with in a long, 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 long time. I'm talking from your childhood. This person, um, maybe they may be bringing this person back into your life to help you. It's somebody that you are going to feel very familiar with if you don't know them yet in this lifetime. If it's a partnership, if it's a soulmate, there's definitely could be a soulmate connection here. And we have multiple soulmates in a, in a lifetime. These are people that help us to grow. They help us to heal. Soulmates don't have to be lovers. A child can be your soulmate. A mother can be a soulmate. We have multiple soulmates, okay? So this whatever whatever connection they are bringing to you is like a... It's a destined connection where um, it's a soulmate type of connection. Whether you're going to be with them in a in a romantic manner or not, this is meant to happen at this time. Um, okay. So anyway, um, you're but there's consequences here as well. So the lover's card is a card of choice, but it's also a card of consequences because you've got to make a choice. So this is not going to be your usual. So this, whatever they bring to you is not your usual. So you're going to be like, <laughs> I don't think so. And you're, but you're going to have to have faith because when, with God or a higher power, you got to have faith that what they bring you is meant to be. So this is meant to be. So in three months from now, you're going to be given an opportunity that could lead to something long-term, permanent, stable. It could really grow and bring you prosperity with hard work and perseverance. It's going to be a new adventure. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be something that you have never done before. It's going to be exciting. You are going to like the idea of it. But when you get presented it, it's, you're going to be like, oh shit, I've never done this before. I'm not so sure. Okay? So I'm not so sure about this. I'm not sure that this is the right path for me. You might feel a little 
insecure, okay? You may feel like you don't, you can't do this. You're not, you know, but those are just um, insecurities, okay? So I think that you are going to be receiving an offer from somebody that you totally don't expect. This person is probably a little bit younger than you, okay? And you may think that you have more experience than them because of your age. Give this person a chance. They can help you, okay? Um, you may feel up here in your hopes and fears. You, you may feel, um, why? Why, 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 why is this happening? And this is a test of your faith. The star card reverse is a test of faith. They've, they're, answering, they're, they're, they're answering your prayers. You've been praying for a way out. You've been praying for this opportunity. You've been praying for, you know, success, right? They're bringing it to you. But it's not in the way that you pictured it, okay? It's really, 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 really not. And it's coming from somebody that is younger than you. So that's probably going to be one of the red flags is that you're like, hmm, what kind of experiences this bloke have, you know, that kind of thing. Well, whoever this person is that is giving you this opportunity um, can help you. And they're being, they're, God or the higher power is bringing this person with the offer for you. And it is going to be a test of your faith. Okay, it's going to be, te this is a test of faith in the higher power. So your faith is going to be tested and you're going to be, called to turn your back on whoever the abusive situation is or the situation that didn't pan out or whatever and go down this new avenue okay so be prepared for this opportunity to be presented to you somebody's going to be wanting to shake your hand they're going to be wanting to to um it feels like start a new project with you and get you on board with them it may even be it may even be um I don't know. For some of you, I don't know if it's rehab. It could be rehab. You know, I, it, it definitely could be. It could It could also be a new business venture. Um, whatever, or it could be a new soulmate connection. It, you know, whatever this is, it, it is a soulmate connection. This is somebody that the higher power is bringing into your life to help you heal from this situation where you were taken advantage of and abused. And, it, and not only is it going to help you emotionally, it's going to help you financially. And it, it's something that you are going to be excited about, even though it's different, you know. I think that um, in your future, you're, you're going to, well, in your future, I feel like you're going to reconnect with somebody that you knew at one time. You knew this person at one time. It's not an ex. Okay? It's not an ex. Did you hear me? It's somebody that you knew at one time. And if you didn't know them in this lifetime, it could have been, it could even be in a past life. I think that um, this venture has to do with, um, may even have something to do with pets. I don't know where that's coming from, but it may have something to do with pets, um, animals, um, gates, fences. Building fences, building gates, perhaps. I think it has to do with building something. Building something. Um, this is definitely a, a situation where you're going to be surprised. You're going to be surprised that this person is, is even suggesting it to you for some of you for some of you there is somebody that has this great idea okay this person has a great idea and they think that that you can help them in some way this could be somebody that you worked with in the past it could be i think it's somebody that you grew up with when you were younger you were you were much younger, um, and you're gonna be like, "Why are you offering me this? You know I don't have any experience in this." You know. You may think this person has something up their sleeve. This is gonna teach you new skills. It's gonna teach you the skills that you need to be successful.
So anyway, be prepared to be starting to build a new foundation or lay down a new foundation. You're going to be laying a new foundation someplace that you did not expect. Good luck.